So, first story time video of all time. No, no, it's not. But it's a gotcha studio video. But, yeah. So, Halloween's coming up really soon. So, I decided to make one some of the most paranormal things that have happened in my life and some of my family's life. So, we're going to start off with a simple one right now. So the first paranormal thing that I'm going to be talking about is when I was at my friend Ethan's house. Now, I know he watches my videos, and his real name is Paco St. Clair, so yeah. So I was at his house one time for a sleepover, and I woke up in the middle of the night. So it was 3 a.m. when I woke up, and as we all know, 3 a.m. is the devil's hour. So I was really freaking out, so I didn't go to sleep at all for that hour. But as soon as 4 a.m. hit, I was thank. I was like, thank God, 3 a.m. is over, and 4 a.m. is now hit. So, I went to sleep then. But, there's one thing that bugged me while it was in 3 a.m. So, while I was, so while it was 3 a.m., I didn't go to sleep at all. I, I actually turned on, like, a few rap songs, and probably the number one rap song that helped me out the most is Not Afraid. Although, I really was afraid. But, yeah. So, I was just there and all of a sudden out of nowhere i'm just in ethan's room and then i hear a bang right out in his house so i open the door and nothing not, not his parents weren't up his dog wasn't up his dog was in the room as a matter of fact but his dog was not up and his parents were also not up and no one else was in the house but everyone else in the house was asleep, and I was the only one awake. So, that's when I just try and fall back to bed. But as soon as I try that, it's 4 a.m. So that's when I am gonna... So, yeah. Ethan, I forgot to tell you this on that day, but it, it actually happened. So this next story came from my mom, and she told me this a few times now, but I'm gonna tell it on YouTube. So what happened when she was little, she was like at least a year old, and somehow she still remembers this, and it haunts her today, so, she, um, all right, let me remember the story, sorry, I have to try and remember the story, so, what happened was, she would always wake up in the morning to some ghostly old lady that she says existed, and it always tell her to go inside of, well, turn on the oven and then go inside it, but she would never do it. So, uh, technically it just hap this happened for at least a month, and as soon as my mom told her parents, they didn't believe her. But, one morning, did it again. And... This time, the old lady scratched her right in the face. This is where my mom's parents seen it, and they moved out immediately. They just moved out. But that's a story from my mom, and it was a quick one because she's told me a million times, and I already know. And for the final paranormal story that I've had ex in my life, well, this is coming from my brother, a.k.a. Crazy Carter at 001. So, for this one, it is actually really insane. So, what happened is, this is our old house. This wasn't really that long ago, but this is when he was, well, pretty long ago. But it was when he was three years old, and I was seven, I think. So, I was seven, and he was three. And my brother would always go somewhere. He'd always go to the... So, like, we were always in the basement, so he would go to the back of the basement, but he'd always start crying when he was over there. So, I decided to take a look myself, and I seen nothing. But, one day, um, my mom and my mom's boyfriend were down there in the basement with us, watching some TV. And my brother crawls, well, not crawls, but he walks his way to there again. As soon as he does this, he screams, and my mom hears it, she goes back there, but my brother was able to talk at this time, so I will never forget the words that came out of his mouth, there's someone back there. 
I will never forget those words that came out of my brother's mouth. And I am scarred for life. I seriously... I was freaking out then. I ran upstairs. I hid in my room. Went under my bed. Grabbed my tablet. Started playing on it. And then went out in the living room and watched TV. I was so scared. I was tangly running around the house. Then I went in the, to our backyard. And I was still running around the house. I was running around everywhere. But... The craziest part is that my cousins used to own that house, but they didn't experience anything. So it still scars me today if the ghost followed me all this time. So I still wonder that, but I am super scared. So, um, yeah, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you for watching, and I am still scared from that last story.